Hello friends, welcome to ACL Full and Final. This is part 6 and in this, we will discuss about parent-child table relationships in ACL. What happened when a ACL is there on parent? What happened when a ACL there is on child? So this is an interesting combination. Let's see what will happen. Let me share my screen quickly. So in this Chrome browser, I have logged in or you say impersonated with able tutor, user with no role. So these are the two tables. This is UACL demo, the regular table which we are using. And I have created one more UACL demo child. Okay, so it's child only. So both these are not showing any data because there is no ACL at the moment. So let me go to some other browser. This one edge. Here you see this is ACL demo. At bottom you have three ACLs. All are active false. In the same way, this is the child table, ACL demo child. You see, this is the parent. Okay. You come bottom, there is only one ACL and that is also false. That's why we are not seeing any record. It is okay. So now I will open this ACL. This is the ACL. Let me make it a table level. Okay. And then activate it and then save it. So let's see if I make any change in the child ACL. Will it impact parent or not? Let me go quickly to the records. Okay. So this is the child table. Let me reload it. Yes, I am able to see it. I am able to see the child values. Let me reload it. But no, I am not able to see ACL demo values because these values are derived from child only. 1002-1001 ACLCH. ACLCH. So these records are only shown here, but the record of ACL demo is not available. It means any ACL on child table will not impact the parent table. This is crystal clear now. So now let me make some more changes. Let me activate this read ACL on parent also. Let me activate. It is table level, simple, no role. Save it. Now let's reload. Yes, everything is fine. I'm able to see both. Okay. Now quickly, I will deactivate this from the child. Okay. So now we have only one ACL which is active. That is from parent. So now if I reload it, you see again, I'm seeing the values of the parent as well as child. It means the ACL on parent is also working on the child because remember there is no ACL on child right now. I have deactivated it in front of you. So only one ACL that is on parent is working for both. Okay. So now let me do one more thing. Let me come back to this child ACL. Activate it. Let me make it a field level that is on description and let me add some value here that is ITIO. Let's save it. Continue. So what is the scenario right now? We have two ACLs. One is on parent. Second is on child. That two on description field. So child one is saying that only show the description field of this ACL demo child table to people who are having ITIL role. Whereas the parent ACL is saying show all the fields of both the tables to everyone. Because it has no role, it is at table level. So let's see what will happen. Let me go to the window. Now let me reload it. You see here, description is not available. But it is gone only from child. If you come here, reload. Again here. Okay. So the description field is not available, but only for child. It means the child ACL is overriding the parent ACL. That is what ServiceNow is also saying that if there are only parent ACLs, it's fine. But if you create a ACL on child, then these ACLs will override the parent ACL. So that's what we have seen. Only description field was not visible, not available because we have created a field level ACL. Whereas the parent ACL were allowing all the fields to be available. So this is the difference. This is the case. This is the execution. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.